Runners up in the World Cup 2018, third place finish in Qatar 2022, and the group stage exit from Euros 2024. One of the biggest fairy tale stories in international football is coming to its end. The players of Croatian Golden Generation are in the twilight of their careers, and some of them have already been retired. My challenge is to raise a new generation of Croatian talents to eventually win the Euros and the World Cup, simultaneously fulfilling Luka Modric's legacy by winning the Ballon d'Or with Croatian footballer. We start our journey with Dinamo Zagreb in the Serie B. And because Croatian national team is using possession-based playstyle, we are going to implement something similar to it in this Dinamo Zagreb team. However, we are going to use three at a back. So let's jump straight into the business. First player that we have signed is 16 years old, talented center back Luka Vuskovic. We paid 700k plus the transfer of Kevin Teofil Katerin for this young man. He is only 16 years old, 62 rated with 86 potential. For this season, he will not have any playtime in the first 11, so I am going to loan him out for one season. To win the Ballon d'Or, we need to have some special talents. None of these players are high rated enough or has high enough potential to even make the shortlist of the Ballon d'Or. That's why we are going to put our fate in Youth Academy system. And for this season, we are going to scout the specific positions on a pitch, starting with the center defensive midfielder position. We identify best candidates to be in the Croatian national team in the future. Thus being of course Martin Baturina. Another candidate is Gabriel Vidovic. Next we have Mauro Perkovic and last but not least Luka Vuskovic. But for now let's check the scouting report. And we do have a fantastic talent. Josip Babic 1.9 million euros market value 80 to 94 potential. He is already 63 rated. Let's promote him to the senior team and try to loan him out. Next up we are going to set up a scouting network in Croatia to find right backs. We got good talent for right back position in Branko Maric, 625,000 euros market value, 73 to 94 potential. He is already 63 rated. Let's wait for the January transfer window and we can promote him to the senior team. Next position that we are going to scout for is the striker position. We got this guy who is looking half decent, Borim Mir Jovanovic, 725,000 euros market value, 66 to 92 potential. He's 59 rated striker, fantastic abilities on the ball, with great passing already. Let's convert him to center midfielder position. And in the last scouting report, we got two fantastic talents, starting with Zlatko Markovic, almost 1 million euros market value, 79 to 94 potential, and Goran Kovacevic, 1.1 million market value. 80 to 94 potential. Let's sign both these players. Zlatko Markovic, 60 rated, decent shooting and physical on him. Goran Kovacevic, already 5 star skill moves. He's way better suited as a right winger or a left winger. We are in the end of 23-24 season and we are actually first in the Serie B with 71 points and we are going to be promoted directly to the Serie A. Three teams has 79 points in the Serie A and Inter won it, I believe, on goal difference which is by the way not the case for Syria. Anyways we got a lot of growth in our players both in our squad from the academy and on loan. Martin Baturina submitted a transfer request so we are going to sell our best player for almost 37 million euros and with the big chunk of that money we went up and signed the best Croatian goalkeeper out there. Dominic Levakovic will be our number one in the Serie A. We paid almost 28 million euros to Fenerbahce for his transfer. And to fill the gap in the center midfielder position we signed probably the best Croatian footballer of all time. 38 years years old, Luka Modric will be returning to Dynamo Zagreb. We paid 20 million euros to Real Madrid for his transfer. He will be of course our captain for this season. Finally, we have found two good talents. First being Miroslav Horvat, almost 2 million euros market value, 71 to 94 potential. And next one is Pavel Vukovic, again almost 2 million euros market value, 74 to 94 potential. These are the last two talents that we managed to find in Croatia. 
and we somehow managed to survive this league, having 17 losses in a single season. AC Milan won the league with 90 points, Coppa Italia goes to Atalanta day one over Inter. The saddest part is that Luka Modric is going to retire, he could have been the main man in our team for more seasons, but it is what it is, thank you for everything Luka Modric. We are starting 25-26 season with the signing of Igor Jelavic from free agency. He's 76 rated, center midfielder, only 18 years old and has 87 potential. He is the region of Luka Modric. We also signed left back for our squad Borna Sosa from Ajax. We paid 16 million euros for his transfer. After these signings, we have changed formation to 4-3-3 holding. Having Maric back from his loan as right back, Babic will be our CD. Jelavic and Jovanovic as center midfielders, Vidovic, Petkovic and Kovacevic up top. We are on 10th position with Dinamo Zagreb, AC Milan won the league one more time with 92 points and Atalanta again win the Coppa Italia over Juventus. It's 2026 and World Cup in North America is on its way but we still didn't earn the offer from Croatian national team and we are going to watch the games from the stands. I clearly underestimated this Croatia team. They won the group with 9 points, 3 wins in one of the toughest groups I have ever seen and they even successfully beat one of the host nations USA in the round of 16. This is an amazing run from Croatia but it sadly ends in the quarterfinals. Italy took their revenge and knocked them out. It is actually Portugal who won the World Cup. We have come to an end of 26-27 season and again we got a heavy season in the Serie A ending up only on 12th position and again AC Milan won the Serie A who is going to end their dominance. This time Juventus won the Coppa Italia. Bruno Petkovic has only 13 and 2 in 26 games and he is currently injured. A very slow season from everybody else but we got good news as well. We have finally got an offer from Croatian Football Federation. Definitely we are going to accept it and be preparing this Croatia team for Euros 2028. We did let go a couple of players, starting with Luka Vuskovic. Atalanta signed him for 47 million euros. We sold Horvat to Pisa for almost 27 million euros. As well as the second choice goalkeeper, Vukovic, he is now playing for Napoli. And we ended up Serie A season in 5th position with 69 points. This is a huge improvement compared to the previous season. It is Atalanta who ended Milan's winning streak and got the Scudetto. But instead we won. The Coppa Italia 4-2 on penalties against Napoli. Euro 2028 is here. We are in the group A with Northern Ireland, Sweden and Portugal. We are starting our journey in Euro 2028 with a match against Sweden. If we want to have a chance to finish the group on the first position, we need to win this game. So let's quick sim it and it is actually a draw against Sweden. Portugal won their first game against Northern Ireland and if we want to fight for the first place in the group, we need to win against Portugal. And we do. We won against the world champions. Igor Jelavic scored on 22nd minute to give us this lead. Now we need to win against Northern Ireland. And we barely do win, despite having 70% possession, 17 shots and 13 created chances, we win only 1-0. Anyways, we are progressing to the quarterfinals, where we got a lucky draw and we are matched up against Romania. So let's win this game, and we do, but only on 118th minute winner from Gabriel Vidovic. Again, we had a 70% possession, 16 shots and barely won this game. We are going to face Belgium in the semi-final. So let's simulate this game and try to win it. Yes we do! And again with only one goal difference. Scoring the winner on 88th minute. We squeeze into the Euros 2028 final where we are going to face England. Obviously they got way better squad than us. But I'm not sure why Joe Gomez is playing CDM. Maybe because England don't have a natural replacement for Calvin Phillips. Anyways let's see if we can win this match. Igor Jelovic scored the winner in 95th minute in front of English fans and we somehow managed to win this Euros at Wembley. We successfully completed the first challenge. And to prepare for the next season in the Serie A with Dinamo Zagreb, we completed four transfers. Let's see if it will help us. 
We have come to an end of the season 28-29 and we are actually second, only 8 points behind Milan, but we got smashed in the Super Cup final, Atalanta beat Juventus in the Coppa Italia final once again, and yo, the breakthrough season for Slatko Markovic, 34 goals and 3 assists in 42 games, he even managed to win the Serie A top scorers race. And here he is, the main signing for this Dinamo Zagreb team, Joško Gvardiol. The future of the Croatian football, currently one of the most talented defenders in the world, is joining us from Manchester City. We paid 95 million euros for his transfer, hopefully he will become the missing puzzle of this team. And in the Serie A, we ended up season with 91 points, fantastic season from Zagreb, but we are still 2 points behind AC Milan. The Super Cup, we lost to Milan as well, Coppa Italia goes to to Atalanta we lost another final and we also didn't make it to the Champions League final it is Chelsea who won it again an unbelievable season from Zlatko Markovic however it was not enough to win a trophy 2030 is the World Cup year. We are in the Group C with England, Wales and Morocco. So let's dive into our campaign, which we started positively, winning the first game against Morocco 3-2. Next up we destroyed Wales national team 4-0 and even managed to win against England and finished the group stage flawless. In the round of 16 we got a lucky draw and continued our insane form with 4-0 victory against Sweden. And yet again, relatively easy opponent in the quarterfinals. Ukraine did not not stand the chance against us and we are through to the semi-final, where we are going to face the current trophy holders Portugal. And they strike first. On 21st minute, Rafa Leao opens the score of the great cross from the right flank. Nine minutes later, we got the opportunity to equalize. Igor Jelovic breaks the defense from the left side and cuts the ball back to Boromir Jovanovic, who puts it home. And in the 69th minute, Goran Kovacevic delivers ball to Zlatko Markovic, who buries it home with his left foot on the volley. We are in the World Cup final again, where we are going to face France. Basically this will be the replay of 2018 World Cup final. Here you can see our squad for this game. We just need one more step. And in the typical fashion, the final was the most intense game. France had a couple of chances in the beginning of the game, but then Zlatko Markovic produced this absolute beauty on 22nd minute giving us the lead, which we managed to hold until until the last whistle of a game. And that's it! The ultimate glory! World Cup trophy goes to Croatia! After so many heartbreaking moments, we were destined to embrace the joy of fulfilling this dream. And as a result of that season of a lifetime, World Cup top scorer Zlatko Markovic wins the Ballon d'Or, the second Croatian to do so. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and check out other videos as well.